Hey guys, it's NaphNaf95 here, playing Stalker Misery again. And today I'm going to show you guys how I start this mod on the black road, as I normally do. I always start on the black road. I don't know why. I like putting myself through pain, but I start on the black road. Now if you have, you're going to spawn in the sawmill, which is on the top left side of the Xanton. Top left side of Xanton. And this place is surrounded by zombies. There's lots of them. They're not a great shot. So you have to be quick. Turn straight around when you spawn. There is a small knapsack with a bit of food, a Macroft PM, a sleeping bag. Obviously, grab all this crap first. We have to be really, really quick here. Now, quickly move out of the first room. Take a right. See any way you can go. Straight out here. Remember to stay low. There is a ladder directly out here. You need to climb very quickly. Otherwise, a zombie will walk through. Yep, there he is now. Right now. He's right downstairs. Currently on the screen, you will probably not be able to see this as it is pitch black. But I hope right, just me talking will be able to get you through it. Now, once you've climbed up the ladder, turn away from the ladder and walk along and just walk around on the roof. Make sure you're still staying low. And there's a few goodies up here. There's a piece of boar meat that's been cooked. There's also another small stash up here as well, which contains some of Bert, Bert's special tea and a few packs of cigarettes and things like that. Remember, we're in this building here. So now we have to think of the escape. I haven't even bothered trying to kill them because you have a knife. And these guys have guns. So normally, what I do, and this is the only way I've really found to stay alive and not lose health, is don't use a flashlight because that attracts them and make a runner we're going to try and aim to it towards this bridge here then after you've hit this bridge follow this coastline down to this village here where there's more stashes that I'll be shown in a later video right so now we're going to try and escape straight this way out through a gap in the roof and just run I mean just absolutely run you can probably see the gap on the video right now because of the sky the ladder is in that direction so now we're just gonna try and run apparently it looks like there's a lot of zombies out there actually one way one thing you can do is lure them inside the building then make a runner I may have to do as there are a lot of them shambling around out there see if I can't uh, other attention at the ladder. Wonder if throwing bolts will do anything. Right now, this is really risky drawing their attention. As I said, there's a lot of them. No, okay, doesn't look like, like bolts are doing anything. Oh God, you probably cannot see this on the uh, video, but I'm counting one. Oh no, there we go. Okay, they've, they've seen me. Let's just say that's what I wanted. Let's just imagine that's what I wanted. Now hopefully they'll all funnel in to the bottom of this building. And we should be able to make our escape. Now, this area is really heavily populated by... Uh, I don't really know if they're actually zombies. They're called zombies. But they still have the ability to fire weapons, so I don't know. I don't know what you want to call them. Possessed, maybe? I don't know. But that's not important right now. So that seems to have lured all the zombies inside the building. So uh, I'm going to make a run for it. Wish me luck. Oh, God. Ah, that hurt. Okay, sprint. If they start shooting at you, just zigzag. They have terrible aim. So it's very easy to get away. And just like that, you have survived the start of the Black Road. You are away from the sawmill, and you can continue on your journey. So yeah, this has been NafNaf95 for Clan28, Level 28 games. Like the video, subscribe for more, and uh, I'll see you next time, guys. And good luck in the zone. You'll need it.